so today we'll be creating a custom sized mattress to, be, uh, to fit the frame that I created for the back of my truck. All right, I got my sewing machine, two pieces of fabric. One will be the bottom and the other will be the top. I thought it was really uh, appropriate for what we'll be using it for. That's what 20 pounds of cotton looks like. I have an extra piece here that they gave me. All right, I have both flannel sheets laying down on top of each other. The inside is face inward, and I'll show you why a little bit later. So you just wanna make sure that it's measured correctly. So once you start, you don't have to backtrack and cut everything loose and redo it. So everything's laid out uh, roughly the size that I need. I'm gonna keep it on the floor so I can keep it straight. Uh, it's gonna be kinda of awkward because I'll be using my hand for the foot pedal, but whatever. This will be the part where I insert the um, cotton. And I've sewn these two sides here. I just have one more side to do, and then I'm gonna wash it. So I've gotten all three sides, all the way through here to here. I made these folds right here, just so I could have the uh, right, the right length and width. So we're gonna go ahead and reach through and grab the inside and pull it inside out. There you go. Oh, this is gonna be comfortable. I just wanna point out real quick that I added um, some lines that went vertically, lengthwise. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna create three, uh, three chambers for the cotton to be stuffed into. So you don't have a bunch of cotton migrating over a couple of days, migrating to one side. You have no cotton on one side and a whole bunch of cotton on the other side. So this is uh, when the bed is extended. If I want to put it like, we'll say couch mode, pull this up like this, push it in. And this will be, a, I guess, kind of like the couch mode. Give you a little more room if you're not trying to fall asleep. Or if you wanted to, uh, once I build a pillow, kind of protect me, away, protect me from this, I can put the pillow here and uh, you can actually sleep on it in couch mode as well. I mean, it's, it's good, it's a decent, decent size for sleeping too, so. All right, lesson learned number one. Make sure that you add about five to 10 inches of length, uh, width 
for your mattress because once you start stuffing it, it's gonna take away some of that width. Uh, mine was a little bit narrow, but not a big deal. It still suits the purpose of which I, which I made it. The second thing is that when you're stuffing the mattress with the cotton, you wanna make sure that you do it outside because it's a little bit messy. I still have about five pounds left over, which I will use to make a good size pillow to protect my head from those metal things on the side. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you in any way, make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.